And we are on a good streak. We have a streak of uh, 16. Is that right? Current streak of 16. And we had a day of Zoltan ships the other day. Oh my gosh, that was some that was some challenging Zoltan ships. We did Zoltan C, right into Zoltan B. And the big fear is Stealth B. Stealth B is the big last scary one, but any ship can kill us, so. If you get tilted, you can watch this YouTube short about the power of positivity. Alright, I will uh I'll watch that later, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Thanks for that. Uh, so yes, we, we have currently a streak of 18, so let's just random and see what we got, my friends. So, I wouldn't mind a Stealth A. A Stealth B would be rough, though. So let's see what our first ship of the day is. Here we go. Random ship in 3, 2, 1, and random. Kestrel, have we done all the Kestrels? We have, I believe, yes. Kestrel is not needed. No repeats. 3, 2, 1, and random. NGB, thank goodness we've already done. Uh, 3, 2, 1, random. Fed B. This is the only Fed ship we haven't done, actually, so... Okay, Fed B. It's not Stealth B. I guess I'll take it. Uh, what's up, Sleeping, Dra Sleeping Dragon? How are you doing? The tilt is real. No tilt today. We are avoiding tilting. Uh, let's see. Let's see what kind of requests I got. I have some, a couple Stealth requests. Elenius request. Mantis or Elenius border. No boarding on this ship. Oh, uh, I have a pilot slug request, so... Uh, who is this? Sleepy Lars wanted to be a, a slug pilot, and that is what this guy is going to be. This guy is going to be our pilot. Sleepy Lars. Uh, what else we got? Boarding crew. I have another slug I need to rename. A mantis. No mantis on this ship. Okay, I think that might be... Wow, I have a couple people who want to be Stealth B pilot. I now have a, a queue of Stealth B pilot requests, apparently. Turns out this is annoying. Zoltan runs weak after mine on Tuesday. You had an absolute brutal Zoltan A run yesterday. You won with 1291 scrap total. Wow, that is a low score, that's for sure. Still can't believe we won last time. Thanks, the house. I appreciate that. It was a rough day Tuesday, but getting a win in is always good. Uh, so let's see what we want to do here. We want to do this. Swamp these guys around. We love artillery. No, 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 we don't. <laughs> Uh, this artillery starts at level 2, so it's cheaper to get to level 4. Red always upgrades. Yes, I always do that. Uh, you want to be the human, Grima. You got it. Human time. How are you doing, my friend? Hope you're having a good one. So this ship, if I had to play a fed ship, this is probably the best. At least it's not a stealth. I kind of wish it was Stealth A. Stealth A is still on our list, and it's one of the strongest ships still up. That and probably like NGC or something. Um, so this is definitely a ship we want to get second shield on. And then look for a weapon upgrade or hacking, probably. Uh, you also added all those old runs, the tracker from the sheet that the other person whose name escapes you starts with O put together. Oh, nice. Nice. Thank you for doing that, Sleeping Dragon. I appreciate that. You and your spreadsheet. Um... Savantness, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I think artillery would be better. Pre-igniter worked on a Kappa Kappa. Why? I just love all the troll <laughs> things, Zach Dog. All right, so I think I could do this one if I have clone bay. Is this the one? This is the one. The other day where I said I just always do X, and I think it's oh, I always do the second one because I think the first one clone bay is actually safe from, but we don't have clone bay, so we dock and try to rescue survivors. And we get a free human. All right. Bonus human if anybody wants it. Uh, I'm going to save you on shields. Or actually, no. I'm going to I'm gonna do this. I'm going to save you on engines, but OMD with you. This frees up our Zoltan for, she, uh, for shields here. I think I like this better. So we save it there, and we OMD here. Human! There you go, Attila. Attila, Grima got the first one, but you're actually here before the human was uh, uh, claimed for once. There you go. I tell the useless human. I mean, totally useful human. What's up, gamer penguins? Bonus human. Uh, dot price, sorry. Attila was first. Although, I don't know if Attila has the cookies to pay for it, so... <laughs> I can get you next, dot price. Just remind me. Now that we have uh, channel points, Attila, we use the channel points to do the crew request. That's how we do it now. You'll go in the queue. Nice. Gamble's not looking good. Oh, crap. I didn't do the prediction. Uh, let me do a prediction here. Will, hopefully I don't die here, Rand beat 
fed B. Yes, no, I will give you two minutes. Two minutes on the prediction. There you go. Gamble your cookies. Enjoy the gamba. This one we can't do. This is clone bay. We got to have clone bay to go to send in our crew or I think NG or rock is blue option that we don't have. The two nebula jumps gets me 10. All right, so let's go here. Can't bet against the kid. I mean, the kid could lose at any time because FTL can kill you at any time. Well, so far, this has sucked because we have a human and no scrap. I need to actually get some damn scrap game. So currently, this is looking like a useless store since I have nothing to sell. Uh, I probably don't ever go to this store. You believe after Tuesday. Well, don't believe too hard. FTL can hear you and will punish you if you believe too hard. It can hear you and it can punish you. FTL likes to do those things. I apparently didn't save you here. I thought I saved you here. Okay, O2 got hit. And he dodged all of my shots. Great. Come on. Fucking no dodges for me. Go at yourself, you shitty game. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Alright, there we go. We finally hit both of our shots there. Come on, do a laser's hit. Good. No fires, sadly. Go get this repairing. Uh, nope, we need more scrap than that, sir. We definitely need more scrap than that. Very good. Uh, what a great start. A cry from the past. Uh, what? Oh, are you talking about the, uh, the random cursing? Yes, a cry from the past. I've hit enter. There we go. Now you're now you're saved there. Apparently, I, I saved you in engines and then saved you in pot, uh, doors. Uh, after Tuesday, are we pro defense drone or anti defense drone? Uh, it, it depends. <laughs> when we are really far behind in missile defense, I guess we're pro defense drone. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five. Um. I mean, as much as I want to check the store, it's like, it's kind of pointless to check the store on this ship with nothing to sell. And uh, I just need to get shield, so we're using the plan to get... 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, something like that. Uh, so many think you will win, you think I will win also, but you're going with the odds as the payout will be huge if you lose. Alright, understandable. You gotta, you gotta bet the odds. Just dropping in Taters to visit and wish it, wish real good luck. I appreciate that, Taters. I appreciate that. Oh god, a disruptor is terrible. Um uh, thank you, Johnny Bones. Uh if this is offensive drones and hacks my shield, this could be really bad. Hacking on my shield. Fuck. Okay, we need to kill the we need to kill. Okay. He doesn't have an offensive drone. So that's good. Did we stun him? He was stunned by that Leto, I guess. Okay, that's good. That's good. I will say the hacking, even though it went on shields, they don't hack correctly. So that's good for us. Yeah, they don't, like, time their hacking or anything. So I'm going to reactively use a missile when I think we need to. Oh, God, he's running. Okay. Uh, I think I think the artillery will finish him and be helping, but in this case, actually helping. No deal. Okay, good. Okay, thank you for no offensive drones with your shield hack. That would have really sucked. Uh, your current run has involved a substantial period where you actually use a chain ion. You just O2 crew kill a ship in Sector 5. Wow. The Frozen GM, howdy partner, good luck, hopefully less stressful ships on Tuesday. Well, the first ship of the day is definitely less stressful than Tuesday, so that's good at least. But again, we can never get complacent, chat. It's FTL, never get complacent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Fuel value is up. Artillery helping twice now. That's right. Aid the civilian ship. I knew this was going to be a Zoltan ship. I freaking knew it. 
Uh, okay, I can force... There, I can force... If I move my crew, this is a safe fight, but I can't... I can't do something. Uh, I can't... Um, speed hack train here. Okay, I have to wait till the power's down, then do this. There. So this is this is a safe fight if I micro correctly. There. Here's artillery helping. Nice. Very nice, very nice. Thank you, Bibble Seconds. Appreciate it. I feel like this is a strat that I wouldn't have known before a couple of weeks ago when I watch FTLs like when they have a single ion you can actually for and you have a Zoltan and a shield with a value point you can actually force the power in there that's some new tech make that a short okay well let's explain what's happening here for those who don't understand what's happening when you have a Zoltan what a Zoltan does any room it's in it forces power into that room so you see you have that so if you have shields up, you have a value point, you have an enemy with a single ion, if you move your Zoltan into shields, that with shields already powered, that will force that extra power into the value point. So now when ion hits your shields, it only ions. This only works against ion stunner, ion blast mark one, Basically for one ion damage. Ion Blast Mark two, two hit in a row, this wouldn't work. Or a heavy ion that did two ion damage, this wouldn't work. But against a single ion, uh, pa a single ion damage weapon, you can force that in, and that will protect you there. So there's a little strat we learned a couple weeks ago, I think that, or I might have known the mechanics of, but wasn't taking advantage of till recently. So very nice in that in that situation. All right, now we got second shield. Which is very good. Um, Bilbo Seconds, thank you for the 21 to sub, which I appreciate that. Overconfidence and all that stuff. Watching the Zoltan ship runs last stream was like watching Rand carry Zoltan Sea to Mount Doom and casting it in the fire. I was Sam Gamgee, that's right. How's things? We're alive, Welsh, you were alive. You didn't know about that super cool? Yeah, we've learned a lot of interesting things in our runs. Oh god, Zoltan Shield plus Flak and... It won't work here with the Ion because, you know, we now have two shields and we don't have a value point to force power in. That would work against Ion too if you ran in and out of the room a, a lot, but it would be a giant pain, huh? You think eventually it would stun your crew. Okay. Uh, ZackDog usually does the uh, YouTube short, so maybe he can set that up. Alright, this guy has a flak that I wish I had. I forgot to move my crew for dodges last time, I think. I'm gonna use a missile to help get through quicker here. Not my shields or weapons, not my shields or weapons. O2 again, okay. One hit. Good. Can we get a weapon offline, please? God nice. the fuck on, man! Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Good. Sadly, we have not found a training ship yet, although this is the first ship we fought that hasn't had. Uh, since we've gotten two shields, so not surprising. Not a good deal. Alright, 15 scrap is good. Uh, what's up, T-Bone Jenks? The Zeltan B start was heckin' tough, yeah. Just steal that flak from him, if only it could. It would be a great YouTube short, but it's too late. Might be able to nab it from the VOD. Yeah, I could, if I remember, if somebody sends me a message, I can grab it from the VOD. It's not too hard to set up. I just uh, I have to remember, and I forget stuff, because I have to do other stuff after stream's over. All right, uh, the next goal is to get a weapon upgrade or hacking. That is the next goal. That is the next goal here. <laughs> Quarantine level five, darn, empty jump is empty. You have a nine week old golden retriever puppy distracting you. That's a good distraction. Hail them. Damn, still no uh, training fight. Thank you for the six months of Prime Savage at Porcupine. Appreciate that. 
more defense drone. We could take some damage here. Come the fuck on, man. Uh, okay, okay. We did get all his weapons offline. That's good. I'm gonna try to hit the shields. Value point, damn it. Missiles back up, damn it. Is it death by a thousand fucking They really missiles. hate my shields, man. They really hate them. Alright, I'm not gonna use any more missiles. They really hate my uh, my shields. Here's artillery. Okay. Yeah, we took like five damage there. Ooh, but we get the triple reward with a scrap recovery arm. Look at that, chat. It's the best dogman in the game. That's not actually that good. Except it is great that we can sell it for scrap. Never sell. <laughs> Uh, you can still debate shields back up with two shields with the Zultan, but it's not great on no pause, huh? Sometimes I think about trying hard mode no pause challenging, because that would be hard. Then remember, I've never won a hard mode game with pause. <laughs> yeah, you should probably probably practice on a on the new difficulty without going straight into no pause. Scrap recovery arm run is over. So blessed. Yeah, so blessed. Uh, wow, Omnibus with five gifted subs. We're having another gifted sub day, apparently. Thank you, my friends. Please don't sell. It's blessed. I'm selling it for Akin. I mean, I'm just going to tell you right now, chat. Sadly, I can't actually make it to this store to sell it yet. So we'll get a little value out of it. Unless we get, like, a bonus store back here or something. Uh, you leave the Zoltan outside, get hit by Ion, then move him back in to Shields Magic. Might be something to test on a day when I'm not hard on no pausing. It only works if it's a one damage eye on though. The story behind Silly Device NG, uh, I feel like I've told the story recently, but um, basically it's a viewer who always likes it to be that crew, and that's that's the that's the short version. Crew that always likes to be Silly Device. Uh, the, that's the name of a Twitch viewer who always wanted to be that NG. So, there's the short version. Hasn't been around as much recently, but... A, a uh, stream legend is Silly Device. I'm gonna try to keep this down. Damn it, I wanted to... I guess I go for his weapons again. Come on. Artillery, please don't let him fire a missile. Nice. God, now the NG. Oh, this guy's got two NGs. No wonder I'm not killing him quickly. He had value point and shields, too. No dodges for that one, though. Okay, I don't want to take another missile. Fuck. Use a missile to not take a missile, basically. Use more missiles than I prefer there, but when they have a missile, you know, you gotta stop them from killing you with their missile. You've been playing a little hard on no pause, and you have a new appreciation for crew micro. It's freaking hard, Marble Eyes. It really is. I feel like some people don't realize how how difficult, especially when you're trying to do it while stressed out about other things happening, while like timing your weapons or microing power around. Crew micro, I think, might be the hardest part about Harbo No Pause, at least for me now. Oh, is that uh, is that YouTube? Did we do a short about silly device history? Okay, investigate. This could be a free NG. Nice! Alright, speaking of Silly Device, speak and he shall appear. Silly Device, welcome to our ship. Bless us with thy Silly Deviceness. I feel like it's been a while since that event we just did actually got us crew. I feel like I've done that event like so many times recently and gotten nothing from it. 19 scrap turned into 20 scrap. Such value from scrap recovery. <laughs> so good. I need my missiles. I can't do that. If I had a flak, I'd do it. Uh, that's a lot of red and purple. A little bit of green mixed in. I'm, ugh, I don't have rock live mine protection. Yes, I do. I have a Lido. Lido gives rock live mine protection, right? It's only... What is it? Whole, whole missile or Hermes that's bugged that doesn't give you rock live mine protection? You've done three hard mode no pause runs so far and you lost them all to crew death? It's the hole that's bugged. Okay. Let's go rock, even though there's no green, because there's two guaranteed stores in rock. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. 
You're on a work all hands meeting on your other monitor while this is on here. As soon as you get the free NG, there was applause in my meeting. It lined up so perfectly. <laughs> Everybody at Dancing Penguin's job is so excited for us to get Silly Device. Right, I can check if there's stores up there. Uh, once Dolphin Chemist. I once Dolphin Chemist. I'm not sure how that sentence is supposed to work. Got so wrapped up in aiming his blade that his crew suffocated. You found it very relatable. Okay, I think you, maybe that's what you saw once that happened. Rock better statistically. Hole missile is the one that doesn't work. Okay. Um, okay, let me look up this one because uh, I, I get this wrong sometimes. Tell them their god is. Tell them their god sent them here. FTL. Tell them their god. Um. Uh, Tell them their god is a ship fight. Promise to share his 50-50 crew. Crew gain. So I think we want ship fight here. 50-50 crew. Yeah, we want, we want, we want this, even though it's a flak. Still not a safe fight. I mean, still not a safe fight to train, though. Because Rain didn't crew kill, the whole missile is the one that's bugged. Okay, we're doing that thing again. Okay, cool. What the Fuck, man! What the actual fuck? <laughs> it's all right, Pastor. It's all right. It's all right. It's your own missile hitting them. Don't get so mad. Um, thirty-three out of sixty-six chance. Okay. Good, good stats there. You've never gotten the crew gain from this one. Don't even know it had a chance. Well, it's guaranteed if you have level 2 sensors, you show them to your data suite and it's a guaranteed free crew. It's just a 50-50 if you don't have the level 2 sensors. You think it said two times nothing happened, one times crew for option 2. What? Okay, I feel like I'm not understanding what's going on in chat, in chat now. Alright. Pass Ryan is mad at the injustice of missiles no matter who is the recipient. It's true, it's true. Artillery helped so far count eight. Wonderful. Okay, so we're looking for a store with weapons or hacking, and I am too scrap. No, I can't afford hacking because we will sell the scrap and crap arm for hacking 100% of the time. Do I have the event open in my browser? Yes. Oh, it's two thirds time we get nothing. It's only one out of three. That the crew member, that's what you're talking about. Yeah, okay. So it's a 66% chance of nothing happening. Repeating, of course. My bad. I'm, I'm, it's math on stream. I got it wrong. Big surprise. Hey, we have training ship, correct? Correct, it's training time. Let's train. Safe fight is safe. I just make sure nothing surprising happens here. Maybe we can even crew kill afterwards. Turn off artillery. I remember, chat. I remembered. All right, that is that is safe. Let's get our training. Let's get our training. Feels good to get training. Cheat engine. Time to cheat and in in invalidate our streak, everybody. Time to invalidate all of our hard work, like we do every run. <laughs> All right, I can't do weapon training. I can do cross training. So I think I will cross. I'm not. I'm not cross training the slug because I'm just never. Well, I mean, if we got a second slug, maybe we want to train. I don't think I. You know, I don't think I ever actually have my NG stay out piloting. So let's do this. There, we'll cross-train humans. There we go, human cross-training. I might cross-train my Zoltan on engines as well, though. Yeah, in case we get another slug with piloting or something, I think it's I think it's worth it. It's so fast with the cheat engine. It's worth. Okay, let's get you. We'll get you on engines, you on shields. I'll just I'll just do a lot of cross-training. You know? Okay, there's that shields guy. 
Might as well take advantage of the training when we got it. Thank you for the prime sub, Viper, and the follow. Wow. Sub first, then follow. Or I guess it was follow then sub. Either way, appreciate that. <laughs> ping, 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 ping. It's like a slot machine. This is us making all of our money from training slot machines or something. Spend time cross-training humans that are going to get vented. It's totally worth I know, right? All right, so now that we've done this, we want to attempt to crew kill by shooting O2. Let's put you here so we can see if we get any fires. Level 1 O2 is good. I doubt we'll actually crew kill with humans repairing, but, you know, who knows? Maybe he's got seven more health. I'm not going to use any missiles on this. A rebel elite ship just dodged every shot from your flak, too. Oh my gosh. All seven? That's insane. With good dodge luck, I believe you can crew kill this guy by shooting O2. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know if I trust that, honestly. Single dodge makes me feel like it's not happening. I've been watching a lot of my FTL runs on YouTube lately. First time catching me live. Nice. Yeah. I mean, I guess what I can be grateful for is the dodges let me train my weapons more, so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have level 1 artillery to be prepared if he starts running. I can, like, depower, repower as needed. Um... I've uh, been watching a lot on YouTube lately. First time catching me live. Well, I'm glad to have you, Viper, and the support is always appreciated. You remember what Crow said? It takes seven, seven or so no dodges. Seven holes. So if they dodge, you lose it. Okay, yeah. Looking pretty doomed. But they're not running, at least, so that's good. Get an extra weapon training from the artillery shot once get our last volley in, too. Fire 2 would help. Might be an idea to mainly charge artillery. Great minds. Yep. Yep. You hang out here too much, Sleeping Dragon. I'm starting to know what you would suggest without you suggesting it. <laughs> but yes, I always appreciate suggestions. Okay, I don't know why I'm still doing this. Actually, I do know why I'm doing it. I'm doing it because of the training. What we do here is we fire the dual laser, rise the artillery fires. This artillery is a weapon training. There we go. We got as much weapon training out as we could there. A good training ship. Buy a second scrap recovery arm from the next door. Wow, that's a play I will totally not do. But I'm sure it's a great idea. All right, so we go here to check if there's a store there. If there's not a store there, I go here to check if there's a store. Does this connect? Oh, God, this is a dead end over here. So if my stores are over here, we're kind of effed. Fed B, that's right, Fed B. Artillery gives weapon training? Yes, it does. For those who did not know. It's not reliable because, you know, it's every 40 seconds at level 2 and every 50 seconds at level 1, but it is it is training. Oh. <laughs> Damn, you should have it. zero guns. Hey, we got to dodge though too, at least. <laughs> that Fuck groan. Fuck you. That Give me groan. Some dodges, <laughs> you shitty piece of shit. <laughs> groan is great. I hear my vocal folds not fully uh, ducting coming together in that groan. <laughs> I can I can feel past rain's pain. Well, I mean, there's a fire. I wonder if we ever crew. Uh, artillery's helping. Never mind. All right, twelve whole scrap. Wow, so good. Uh, Arty timings are not affected by training skill. Correct. It just gives you skill whenever it fires. A skill training or whatever. It's kind of a weird dichotomy. Two scrap, unironically better than one, because it can only round down by one. Okay. No store, no store. Distress beacon, no, we don't care about rock distress too much. 
Seems like an okay start on a crappy ship. I would say this ship is not the worst. At least not the worst when it comes to fed ships, but it is fed ship, so not great. Uh, okay, he has a missile and he has boarding. Uh, single mantis border. Oh, fuck you, game. Okay. Okay, we did get through there. Okay, good. He stopped repairing that. Uh, this should be a crew kill. If I am patient enough to allow the NG to board us. So turn this off. How am I going to do this, though? Um, he's going to board me. Are you going to board me, bro? Okay. Okay, level one clone is good. We kill this guy. Damn it. Come on, don't dodge with nobody on piloting. There it is, crew kill. Had to use a couple extra missiles, though. Five fuel and 21 scrap. Was it worth? Uh, not sure, but we got the crew kill at least. Man, I really need I need I really need hacking or a weapon right now because our, our our missile count is going down, man. It's probably the best fed ship, but being the best fed ship is like being the rock sprinting champion or the NG heavyweight boxing champion. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's a good comparison. Good metaphors. Just had an amazing idea for a custom ship. Start off with three scrap recovery arms, Kappa. And that'd be a great starting ship. Because I could sell it all and um, actually make my ship strong by selling all those scrap recovery arms. Now, what's up, Mike? Hope I'm doing well. Good luck with the runs. I appreciate it, my friend. Hope you're having a great day. Three forced, unmovable, unsellable scrap recovery arms. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, I have to... Ha, ha, let's plan this out. This is what almost killed us yesterday. I should be able to vent better here. What are the bad places they board? Piloting, and then I could move my crew around. They boarded my heel bay. I could move my human and Zoltan over to heel bay. They boarded my O2. I don't know if I vent them in time. If they boarded my doors... I can't vet them at all. Fields and weapons are the awkward ones. Okay. Okay, this is kind of okay, I think. But I'm gonna have to do some swapping crew around. I'm gonna have to jump. Do I have a store to jump to? I do. Um, do I jump to the store to deal with these guys? I could jump to a safe jump because I don't want to go to the store yet. I could jump here, and then we have six, five, four, three, two. I could do that. Huh. Power and engines. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Thank you, Starcraft user. I'm, I'm good. You've been having a very stressful work day until your wonderful dad came along to make it all better. Well, that's nice you have your dad that can help with that. I think you'd rather take the flare. If you jump to empty store, jump, you might as well take the store, though. I think I actually get an extra jump if I don't do that. Um... Taking one solar flare so I don't lose out of jump. You know, that's probably worth, especially since I know where my store is. <sighs> How am I going to do my pathing if I... Six, five, four, three... Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's take the solar flare. Let's take it. Double fire, not cool. Okay, all right. Now I got all these dudes to heal, though. 
but we took two damage from that bullshit. Double fire. Damn it, I didn't mean to take that. I was going to try to hit jump. Fuck. Damn it. Ugh, fucking hell. I goddamn hate solar flares. Stop spreading, you shitty fire. Damn it, I took like four damage from that shit. Fuck solar flares, man. Are you fucking kidding me, man? Invisible fucking solar flares. What a fun fucking mechanic, right, chat? This is a death by a thousand right, so fucking got missiles, man. First laser offline. Baptizing the flames of the Holy Sun. Yeah, that's great. Wonderful. Go heal. We've had no zero damage solar flares so far. Every single solar flare has done damage. Solar flares can do zero damage. Get me the F out of these damn solar flares. And he resists, so I take an extra solar flare. Alright, that one didn't do damage, so I can vent these. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Alright, well, our greed is doing damage because of solar flares now. I'm hoping to find a second store, although, if I don't see a store there, we go one, two, three. Potentially second stores over here. I wish solar flares would have been a lot more fun if they didn't damage the hole. Okay. Roll well, the punches. Store stores give repairs as long as you get scrap. At least equal extra jump. It's fine. I just scrap into twenty. Such value for scrap recovery arm. Used to be an adventure like you. Then I took a solar flare to the knee. Yes. All right. Double solar flare into asteroid field. We're in a rock sector. Okay. I'm almost out of missiles. I thought it was pirate sectors that had all these non-stop... Fuck you, Whatever man. they're called. Uh, um, scary things. Hazards. Death by solar, uh, by asteroid here. Empower, do you actually call it? Next jump asteroid field, you did call it. <laughs> Stop calling it, please. Can you call a free flag one? I'd appreciate that. Uh, rock and mantis sectors both tend to have lots of hazards, huh? Okay. Well, Empower, since you called that, I'm going to call this. Thank you for helping out with our uh, tournament practice tomorrow. Shameless self-plug, tomorrow on this stream all day, we're going to do some tournament practice uh, runs with Empowered, uh, Empowers, and Herpix playing first with me and Farb casting, and then I think me and Cast are going to play, and then Mike Copley and Empowers are going to cast, so that should be a good time tomorrow. Nothing. Big, fat, empty jump there. You've been looking forward to it? It's going to be a fun time tomorrow. Or a trolley time, or both. Um, can you define the time? This starts at our normal stream time, I watch FTL, and then we're doing between four and six FTL tournament runs. I guess if it goes too long, we might, you know, quit. But I, I'm basically going to be two best of three head-to-head -head matches, I think is how we're going to do it. Okay, he has weapons. He has weapons. We can work with this. All right. Um... A dual laser plus whole laser, I like. Do I keep the Lido or not? We definitely have to do a weapon upgrade to use it. So, 100% of the time we're doing this. Too early for fire beam shenanigans. 
Winner is based on score. Um, it's based on our tournament score, which is an oft maligned and discussed scoring system. So, <laughs> I'm thinking about buying the Ion Stunner and then repairing, but maybe not upgrading for the Ion Stunner. It's basically score of the run divided by time with some calculations thrown in to weight the things differently. You don't know if you consider it maligned? Um, disgust, maybe. I, I, don't, I don't know if a lot of people have said it's bad, but there have definitely been people who have said it's maybe not the best way to, you know, decide who's a winner. I think we buy this, repair, and then... Maligned is a strong word. Oft disgust. We are still in discussions on what the final scoring values are going to be. I kind of want to buy some power. I should have checked if there's a second store there. Did I? Maybe I did, and I just forgot that I checked. Well, if I have nothing to sell the scrap recovery arm for, which I could, like, get another weapon upgrade, but I wouldn't even need to do that. I don't need to sell it yet. So, chat was much rejoicing. I'm going to keep Scrap Recovery Arm until our next store, at least. We can get the value out of it if I'm not buying anything with it. Yeah, winner's based on tournament method scoring with the option to tweak said system being it starts, before it starts. Yeah, we're part of the reason we're doing this testing. Uh, that is cheap power. I'm going to do it. Part of the reason we're doing this testing is to give us more data to pull from to continue trying to tweak and adjust our scoring system. Basically, the scoring is trying to weight high score in FTL in a low amount of time and adjusting the scales to find what we prefer as the... Um, best player, which is who can get a high score in a low amount of time and weight that in certain ways. It's it's tough to make it zero it in perfectly. Uh, Uncharted Nebula or Pirate Control? Pirate could have Force Green. There you go. Cassalian's got the numbers there. Yeah, basically no experience playing fast, so it would be very spicy for, for you. <laughs> All right, nice. Thank you for the eight months in a row, Zoidberg. You watched two-day stream on VOD. That was a wild ride. Congrats on making it through. Thank you. It was a very long day. <laughs> We're kind of thinking it weighted score too much the first time, Mike Copley. We want to we wanna reward faster play, I think, is what we're trying to adjust. Oh, man. Do I get... I go pirate because I think it's going to be better scrap. Or to go Uncharted Nebula because it gives me choice in case we have Force Zoltan. Uncharted Nebula with no long range scanners is not my ideal with 11 fuel. You'd probably go Nebula for the choice of four. It's what I'm leaning towards. Because if this was Slug and this was Zoltan, I'd go Slug every time, I think. Um, uh, go here. For the next tournament iteration, we have someone capable in math with us, unlike last time. Maybe shove in a logarithmic scale or exponential to sound fancy. Yes, hopefully we have a smart math person that uh, Case Casalia is getting to help us. Hopefully, make some better score math choices. Wow, this sector layout is really spread out for an uncharted nebula. Uh, so we gotta like end up here, then here. Interesting. I think I wanna go something like one, two, three, then back and around. I gotta plan this out well. I probably need to plan around this being in 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 2, 1, something like this. <laughs> Yes, Rand is streaming in FTL. Yes, we are. All right, attack the pirate. At least it's not an empty jump. 
Double missile using weapons and two shields. And here I am with no hacking. Okay. Not that we've had an option for hacking. What the hell, man? What the actual fuck? Okay, all right. We did get the, both the missiles down. That is great. This is a uh, crew kill if we don't kill this guy, right? Well, that was a lot of dodges. Uh, I'm going to let the artillery run because of the double missiles. Nice. Right because his missile was about to fire. <laughs> artillery actually did help with the crew kill. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, we have an anti-bio beam, chat. It's called uh, Rank 2 Artillery. <laughs> not a true bio swipe because, you know, it did hull damage, but and we're not going to crew kill now, probably. Three fuel, two drone parts. Uh, you know, I probably need to take that in the middle of a nebula. Have I played Cookie Clicker? Years ago I have, yes. Um, uh, wow. Good, good, good ideas. I watch FTL with the math thing. You're going to lurk with the stream. All right, enjoy your lurking. Um, thanks, Vincent. Appreciate it. Got to wait for the drive to charge for artillery to run. Yes. Uh, I need more scrap. But three fuel and two drone parts is tempting. You missed my three hours Elden stream, but watched on YouTube. That was so satisfying. Thanks, Garcia. It was, it was a long day of two difficult runs, that's for sure. Um, man, six fuel is max, but two drone parts is max. I'm going to take it. I don't love taking this deal, but I'm going to take it. The three fuel and the two drone parts tempted me. I don't know. Our artillery seems pretty good with how much it's helping. Yeah, yeah. So helpful. So helpful. Um, damn, what's the button for this? Why? I'm like, I'm like, is it G? No. Is it H? No. Is it J? No. Is it K? No. It's Y. Why? Because artillery. Artillery. Why for artillery? That's 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 why the quick buttons there make so much sense. Artillery! Would you prefer waiting speed more overall or doing things like applying a scaling penalty above a certain time? Um, I think weighing speed more overall is what we want the thing to do, Mike, but these are the kind of discussions we're talking about on, on, the, uh, on the Discord if you want to get deep into it. Okay, uh, he's got a bomb. But we can, I guess, have the discussion in chat. If anybody wants to discuss score farming stuff again. Good dodge. Bomb down, that's good. Uh, why? Because RT, I know. Why for why? It's why for why. Why would it be that? Why, 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 why? Um... But I, th I think our goal is for the, just in general, for speed to be weighted more highly than it was in our last tournament. I think that's our goal. Cassalian does more of that stuff. I like to participate in the discussion, but I'm not the expert on it. So that's why I say maybe going to the... Uh, Discord is better because uh, it's math. <laughs> it's math. And we had a meeting two weeks ago between me, Farb, Kassalian, and Crow Ravel to start talking about those things. We're probably going to talk about them again as we continue to kind of discuss and gather data. A uh, number of jumps might be want to be considered. We should reward anyone who buys three scrap recovery arms in the tournament. Uh, yeah, Castalian has got a wall of text there. Maybe to talk about it some. Do we have average numbers on the average time? Here, I feel like some people need to look at our spreadsheet here. Uh, FTL tourney two. Go look at that spreadsheet. 
We are doing a lot of data collection. There's the spreadsheet. Castalian's been asking for people to add their runs so we can like use the use that as a data as some data points. Um, let's see here. I don't want to do this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, something like that. Uh, don't debug you on stream. Where can we find information on the tournament? Um, Ivory Legacy's Discord. That's the place to go. Damn it. Lost a jump. That is where a lot of discussion can happen if people are participating in it. I'm kind of bad about keeping up with Discord, as Cassian can let you know, so I might not be the best source for that. Is this a safe fight? This is a safe fight. Um, it's just gonna be an annoying fight. At least, and at least he's not running, so. Well, we want whole laser to hit second in case we get a breach so they can't repair stuff. Okay, good. We get, we get the uh, hacking down, which is nice. Try to do all the work. Let's already do all the work. Kick back and relax. Uh, that's boring. I'm, I'm helping. Artillery is doing all the work, but I'm helping this time. Now I'm the helper. Oh, that was a really good artillery swipe, though. Hit all five rooms. That's rare. Yeah, the the, the, the tournament is not coming in the next month. It's at least a couple months away. But if you would like to participate in this discussion about tournament scoring and stuff like that, we do have a planning committee on the on the Discord. And I'm sure if you're interested in helping, submitting runs and putting them on that spreadsheet is helpful for data collection. I think I might do this Lido upgrade. I delaying it because I'm hoping to find a store with hacking, but not lead over Ion Center upgrade. Well, I guess I have the option for which I use. Oh, I thought I shot the missile down. I shot, I shot the laser down and I was like, score! And then I realized it was not the missile. And then I was like, I wish that was the missile. Running away, sir. Not allowed. That is a terrible deal. Hey, look at that. All our training's done, at least. All of our training is done. Oh, and another free crew, baby. Perfect crew. I love having uh, Mantis in um, sensors to uh, deal with borders. We used to call him to airlock when Tamak hung out all the time. Um, greetings, good luck. Thanks, Tyler. They have missiles that cost two power and do two damage. There's no missile that can do that. That is correct, Sword Art. There is a unique missile called Artemis that there are two different versions. One version is the player Artemis that is one power for two damage. And the AI has a different version called the Artemis. Same name. It's just two power for one second faster or one second slower. I think it's slightly different in that way, too. Can you jump in from the queue? Yes, you can, Dot Bryce. Yes, you can. Thank you for reminding me. That's some good dodges. Absolutely. Claim your crew, sir. Or person. Friend. <laughs> Trying to use gender neutral pronouns. And it, I, I forget. I forget sometimes. I call people friend, my friend, on Twitch all the time to try to not assume gender of any sort. So, <laughs> I sometimes... I'm so used to saying, what's up, man? I was just like, it's just... It's hard to retrain your brain. Retrain your brain. Holy free chain burst laser. Enemy Artemis is 10 seconds, player is 11. So it's one more power, but one less second charge. There you go. Maybe we should ignore FTL's own score and just invent our own formula. 
Okay. Uh, that's kind of what we're doing, I think. We just use the information we get from uh, FTL to help inform our change, I guess. All right, that's the request it is. D-O-T-B-R-Y-C-E -T -T -E dot Bryce. And thank you for the two months of subage as well. The priority on inclusivity. That's what we do. Well, well I try to do anyway. Black yourself, FTL, this doges. Okay. The one, the only chain laser. Do I actually use that because it's got fire chance instead of whole breach chance? We have the uh, difecta, not trifecta, the duality of mediocre two power two shot lasers. This one first charges faster. This one second charges faster. You'll forever argue that dude is gender neutral. The best way to address everyone. I like that dude. Good one, dude. Um, I'm not shooting systemless rooms. I know. But it's faster for the first volley. And the first volley is the most important volley. So I think I'm going to keep it for now. One, two, three, four, five, and then we can go six, seven, eight if our store's here. I think we go with that. Still haven't seen our store. I've seen every jump except this non nebula jump. And maybe I even did see it. Either way, I I couldn't get it. I said this was a store. So um I don't know this could be my store, so I'm not gonna spend scrap yet. You, um, okay, can we... I'm gonna purge that, Attila. I do not want to have discussion about this. Please do not diss anybody's choices in life. We're not gonna have a discussion like that right now. Chain is good for slot for Leto if we don't find items. Yeah, I need to invest more in weapons if we do that, though. Um, okay. Let's see here what's gonna happen okay we shot the missile down that time which I like oh fuck you Two damage FDL. missile my favorite fuck you okay missile down that's great okay uh, his missiles back immediately which sucks okay Uh, I don't... I, I just don't want to have the discussion. If you don't like that, I'm sorry. I don't want to have the discussion about negativity. Positivity good, negativity is bad. Unless you're saying missiles are bad, then I agree with you. Or that, uh, you know, things that we can all agree are bad are bad. I just don't want any negativity. Please, let's not have a discussion about what's about people's life choices being bad. That's what I don't want to have a discussion about. We are positive here, not negative, not judging people's de decisions. That is what I'm trying to keep this chat being. Positivity, not negativity. One, two, three, four, five, six. Unless we're yelling at missiles and FTL, that's always allowed. Um, your father taught you that negativity was good. Okay. Or if you want to talk about... Star Wars being bad, then I agree with that. But I don't want to get into social or political discussions about what is bad. That's what I want to avoid. Okay. I'm sorry if you don't agree with that, Attila. But that is how I want to keep my stream. Um, This guy's weapons are not the worst. Good doge, good doge. Which one let you send whisters unless you give them my phone number, huh? I guess that's so that they don't have bots spamming people would be my guess. Unless it's humans that need to be vented, we can all agree on that as well. I forgot to heal this dude. 
Negativity on Starfield? Sure. If it's about video games, yes. Video game neg negativity, you don't like movies, certain movies, you know, that's cool. We're just, I don't want to have any negativity about real things. You know. Negativity about opinions on media is great. Other things, not so great. <sighs> okay, I'm, I'm sorry you're disappointed in me. I'm not catering to one side. I am... You are trying to be a negative about something, and I'm trying to not be negative towards anybody. So, I will just agree to disagree, and if we can drop the subject, like I've asked three times, I would appreciate it very much. Indiana Jones? Uh, I've heard all of the new ones are bad. That's everything I've heard, but I haven't seen any of them. We need more power. We need a lot of things. Hacking is the most important thing, though. That's the most important thing. That is the most important thing. Hacking. And if I don't see a store at the next jump or two, I think I'm just going to upgrade my, wep uh, my weapons. We need more scrap recovery arms, yes. You watched the new indie movie on the plane and it wasted your time. Alright, if I do a weapon upgrade, I can still afford hacking, so I'm going to do that. And I did that so I could have chain laser instead of ion stuff. We'll do it this way. What do I think about artillery? Uh, negativity. I think it's the worst system in the game. Um, and artillery and fed ships have always gone down a tier in my mind because they are um, forced to have this system. Yeah. Okay, this is a safe fight with two shields. I want to do this. If I hit piloting, he'll never make a change in his weapons, if I understand this correctly. What the fuck, man? What the actual fuck? But he could run is the problem. Because if we never change his power numbers, this should stay with this weapon setup. I should be more positive about artillery. <laughs> I should, honestly. I should. Actually, I should turn my artillery on right now. It'll help me slowly kill this guy. Um... Okay. That's a wall of text from Commodore Paul. I, I will eventually read that about once upon a time in Hollywood. I've never watched it, so I'm gonna say, cool story, bro. I have no opinion on that. Uh, having artillery is a great way to guarantee your other systems have more power and upgrade than normal. Totally, totally. Do I like this? Uh, do I like this? I think we can get more scrap, so kill. Just don't run away, sir. No, no, no. Chat says no. I think I agree. I think I agree. Good. Uh, yeah, he might move his power around if he feels like going to the med bay. Really? Will he actually do that? I don't know if the AI does that. After an intense FTL run, do you crash out for like six hours to go to the gym or what? It depends on the day. I prefer to go to the gym, but it depends on how tired I am and what I have to do afterwards. But usually on my FTL days, I go work out afterwards. I'm trying to stay healthy, you know? Trying to, trying to counteract my poor eating that I'm trying to get better at. Uh, but I usually crash at least for a little bit after that. Wow, uh, I think I saw every jump this sector except this one, and I haven't seen a store. So I think that means my store was here, and I can't get it unless I want to dive. Uh, 
Uh, how's the run going? Check the VOD, but it's going great. Um, it could be a zero store nebula. But you know what? I have enough fuel. Let's check. Let's check. Let's check if I missed my store over here. Oh god, and I get free borders for my checking here. Okay. Uh, oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna allow the damage. I'm gonna allow the damage. Am I? Yeah, it's four dudes. Damn, okay. I, I did allow the damage. Okay. Oh my god, I don't want to mess up my micro here. Okay, let's just do this. Let's let's play it safe. Okay, we should be fine. Freaking free borders are the thing that kills me more than anything else recently, it seems like. Okay. I traded one damage to not risk crew more than I already did with my freaking dude almost dying. Yes, it was very close. And I almost, I almost failed. Keep my crew alive. Uh, which fed is this? This is fed B. This might be a zero store nebula. You had one on stream once. My Zoltan is a great shield. Nice. Okay. No, there is our store. I'd go there if I... If I knew that it was only the exit beacon dive. But I'm one, two, three... This is one of the situations where when Freddy talked about during the tournament last time that Extended Pursuit Indicator lies. This is what he's talking about. Like, you can't actually quite tell. I think I couldn't get this safely in three, and it'd be a double dive. And I don't think it's worth a double dive to check the store, even though hacking is really good. It looks like double dive, so we're not going to chance it. Yeah, it would, have had, it would have been a double dive. Okay, good. Good, it is civilian. Let's go. Let's go get some hacking. Um, man, we really need a store. I'm at half health. If I die with half health... So I can't find a store to get hacking. That would be sad. Can I do this and still afford hacking with what I have to sell? Yes. Let's do that. Let's get a little bit more defense. I don't want to be in Sector 4 without at least one upgrade when our weapons are strong, but double missiles could still F us. Scrap keep arm is keeping earning its way. It deserves to stick around. Sure, sure. You keep telling yourself that. You keep telling yourself that. Right up until I sell out a store to get hacking. Half power. Okay. I should be able to get this Flak 2 offline. God, I hope I'm right. Nice, nice. Okay, you go move to O2 now. He's got no offense. He didn't turn on his basic laser. I'm unsure why. Damn it, he's running. Okay. Um... Uh, do we greed? Our chain laser is quick, but he's got a defense drone mark two. Um, uh, I think I take this deal because I'm I'm worried he gets out. You think I've easily got this guy beat? I'm gonna move my Zoltan in the artillery, and it should charge fast enough. 
I think, I hope. Oh god. Oh god. Damn it. Okay. Artillery, finish him. Okay, we got it, we got it. We're good, we're good. There we go! Good. Much better scrap. Told you easy. Yes, yes. You sure did tell me. But chat tells me many things. So you'll forgive me if I, uh... Don't take chat's word for it. I hope you'll forgive me anyway. Alright, store. Come on, give me hacking. Will the tournament be played on normal or hard difficulty? Uh, yeah, it's hard. We want to see the best players at the highest level. Maybe not the actual best players, depending on the version of FTL you're playing, but we want to see really skillful gameplay, so there's no hacking here, is there? There is no hacking here. So it's of course going to be at the highest difficulty in-game possible. He has the best weapon in the game again. Yeah, 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 he does. I'm selling that. There might be some folks who think there's no reason to sell it. I'm gonna sell the weapon because I can't use it. Backup battery. How much does the scrap crab yarn sell for? 25. All right, I'm gonna buy the backup battery and hope our second store this sector has, has hacking. Yes, another fire beam and I'm passing it again, I know. Has anyone emailed the devs about the tournament? Uh, yeah, Kassalian does do that. Well, I don't know about emailing, but he does contact. Uh, last time we had uh, Justin Maul chat with us. Damn it, three shields. Oh, this could be a killer fight. I have six shots versus three shields, and he has at least four with offensive drones. Do I skip this fight, chat? I think I might skip this. The low scrap plus map. I have six shots, not five. This is at least four and probably five because that might be a burst two. I don't think it's a burst three. So you are saying things like you know them. I don't know that you know them. I think I'm gonna skip this fight. I think I need to get better at skipping fights, so we're gonna skip that fight. They have a third weapon. Did they? I didn't see the third weapon. One, two, three, four. Maybe gets an, gets an extra jump. Let's just go one, two, three. Could get, I think I see everything if I do that. If I go one, two, three, four, five, I don't think I get to see these jumps. So let's go one, two, three, and I should be able to see every jump and get a store if there's available, I think. Yeah, screw that fight. It'd be cool to have the first round of the tournament with all players playing the same speed. Simultaneously, the next round is three together before head to head for the quarter, semi, and final. Uh, okay. Damn it, free borders. At least they brought snacks. Kills there. Very nice. Uh, you think they would have had a third weapon on the right side? Probably a mini beam or a small bomb or other weapon that would be hidden under the ship model. Yeah. I don't think there was an extra shot behind there. Because if you can't see a weapon, I don't think it can be a, a laser of any kind. I think maybe it could be an ion or a beam or a bomb, like you said, probably, though. Didn't even know you could set your own seat in this. Uh, you can't in vanilla FTL. You have to be playing with 
uh, hyperspace that allows for seating. One, that's the reason we play on hyperspace. It's the hyperspace existing and having seeds is what gave me the idea originally to do some sort of tournament. Because having two people play on the same seed is about the only way I can think of to have any kind of competitiveness in a TL, I feel like. Okay, this ship. Another offensive drone ship. A single offensive drone, that's good. Do I like any dried fruit? Uh... Um, I've eaten raisins. I don't love them, but I've eaten them. I don't need a lot of fruits in general, so... I don't know. I should eat more fruits. But doges are not seated, sadly. Yeah, well, you're never going to get everything perfectly seated. It's never going to be ever perfectly the same. Because two people are going to choose two different routes and all that stuff. And we've had this discussion a thousand times, but... Seating at least the run and playing the same ship gets some sort of similarity in runs that we can enjoy in a competitive viewing experience. How many people attended the last tournament? Tournament. Any expectations of how many will participate this time around? Uh, I, I remember our viewership was pretty good if you're asking how many people watched. Um, I don't remember. I think we were in the 80s to 100s and maybe higher than that at some point. Uh, I don't remember the exact viewership numbers. You're asking how many players. Um, Casalia might remember that better than I do. 16 or something like that. Alright, so if that's not a store, then we go one, two, three, four, five, and I think we've seen every jump this sector, so I think I'm guaranteed one more store. One, two, three, four, five is safe. That's not a store. One, two, three, four, five. So we have four more chances to store, and I think one is guaranteed. Hopefully that one will have hacking. There we go. Kazalian remembers. We had 16. It was open sign up. We barely found 16. To be fair, at the time, nobody knew what exactly they were signing up for. True, true. It was the first time we had done it. Okay, good. One thing you think you noticed watching Castalian the other day. Something, hold on. With using seeds, even if one player goes up and one goes down, say for sector two, the beacon layout positioning is still the same, even if it's uncharted versus NG. Okay. Yeah, it's like I said, saying there there is a lot of things that the seeding does. I think the things that aren't I don't know, there was there it was interesting. I think uh Math Champ and Casalian last time we did the tournament figured out what was seated and what wasn't, and there's very few things that aren't seated. Something like where the shots are aimed in the phase three of the boss and what drones spawn in phase two of the boss isn't, but like maybe the stores are. I don't know. There's there's a lot of little crazy things about that. Rewards are not seated. I think some of them are. But I don't know. I could be wrong. There's our store. Good. And stores aren't seated as far as you know. Okay, there's cloaking with no hacking. All right, well, I guess... I guess we're getting cloaking. Uh, not that I'm disappointed, but usually I don't like to get cloaking before hacking because of how expensive it is. Um, it is not an offensive upgrade. Well, the only reason I've kept this scrap recovery arm is because there's just nothing I want to sell it for. Please, chat, don't look at this run and go, Rand thinks Scrap Recovery Arm is now good. He kept it the entire run. No, no, I just, I haven't had anything to sell it for yet. Scrap Recovery Arm is still not good. Still not good. I just, there's nothing better to sell it for. Uh, I'm going to do one repair here. How much? 25, 17, 35, 42. I have 42 scrap worth of stuff to sell, so I need 42, 43, 
37 scrap to get hacking again, I think. Something like that. Scrap recovery arm is now S tier, yes. By misquoting Rand. I now think it's S tier by misquoting me. That shouldn't be a dive. I'm banking on this not being a dive. If that's a dive, this could be bad. But I have cloaking, so it's not the end of the world. Got it. Keep the scrap recovery arm because Rand thinks you should. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, that's a bomber with offensive drones, potentially. Rand into crap recovery arm, saving a cheek. <laughs> Tree K I S S I S G. All right, all right, all right. All right, what am I cloaking here? Um, bomb, I guess. Oh, that's a lot of dodges, man. That's an ion bomb with the charge time. Good. Okay, good. Oh, he is shieldless now. That's really good. Uh, no damage, no damage. Okay, good. Five fuel, 15 scrap. Okay, it's fine. Okay. Don't need to auto fire, though. Oh, crap. Okay, artillery, please finish him so we can't actually run. Good, good. Artillery health, chat. Look at that. Look at artillery helping. Wow, our reward was 15 scrap and nothing else. Fuck you, FDL. That is terrible. Sector 4, we got 15 and nothing. Is that minimum? That feels minimum. I should have taken the second deal because it was the same amount of scrap and consumables. Ugh. I got 16 because scrap recovery arm. <laughs> okay. Totally worth. Totally worth. Mike has a scrap re reward chat on his website. True, but I'm too lazy to look at it and I just ask for Sleeping Dragon all the time. Alright, it's not a dive, thank goodness. Why use online charts when you can ask chat to be your wiki? Um... Now, this is an interesting choice. If I go civilian, I might have forced abandoned six. Or I go Zoltan Homeworlds and die in Sector 5. Ah, oh, man. Dealing with Lanius bombers with no mind control does not sound like fun. I think we still have to go civilian. <laughs> Possible bad sector is preferable to definite bad sector. Yeah, I think I think it's still civilian. If we get hacking, that will hopefully help us deal with Lanius bombers. And civilian sector has two to three stores and better events. Zoltan Homeworlds could have Zoltan uh, border police. So, what about envoy? What about him? Zoltan Homeworld seems like it should be red, not green. Yeah. All Zoltan sectors should be uh, red, not green. Alright, three nebulas does get us 14 in total. We have one gold a sector, and it is get hacking. Anything else is bonus. Yeah, I'll take that deal. Give away all my missiles. So far, the sector is not that great. This is... No, this is the one that I... I don't know. This one or Doc and Rescue the Survivors. Columbia protects you from I can remember. But this just always gets the stuff, I think. Nice. We can get hacked. Let's go. Come on, hacking. Orange Jesus, please give me hacking. Halberd beam, but hacking. Okay. All right, we got our hacking. Um, well, this door has a lot of stuff I want. Long range scanners is great. Halberd beam is great. 
Wouldn't mind a clone bay. I could sell scrap recovery arm and an ion stunner for long range scanners. Is that worth? There's a second store here, huh? What could this store have? Flack that I could sell for. So maybe I do nothing. See what's at this other store. Uh, you prefer to sell scrap recovery on the upgrade hacking after next fight? Do I check second store? Basically, all that I would hope for would be a better two-power weapon. Kind of the only thing I could afford right now. Did I ever sell enough to get halberd beam right now? Go dual laser halberd beam? Twenty-five. If I sold chain laser scrap recovery arm, is that enough for halberd beam? 34, 54, 59. I could sell two weapons and scrap recovery by a halberd beam. Is that worth? You think that's not worth? We're too poor for shopping. For someone who scouts as well as you, long range scanner is almost never worth the sacrifice. Uh, I don't know if I agree with that. You disagree with selling scrap recovery arm. I, if I sell scrap recovery arm, it's because I'm not going to this store. And I'm hoping for hacking two next jump, like I watch FTL talk about. If I keep scrap recovery arm, it's because I'm going one jump, then the store to see what's here. If I knew I'd never find another store with weapons again in this run, would I do that? I, I would be having dual lasers, ion center, halberd beam. And I, I wouldn't love that, but I would be okay with that for my boss fight. Or I could do dual laser, whole laser halberd beam, which would be quite good. Because I could sell ion center chain laser by halberd beam. I could actually go dual laser halberd beam ion stunner right now if I bought it. And sold these two. No, I'm not doing anything for the memes, but good suggestion. <sighs> All right, we're just not going to go to the other store. I think everything I'm talking about is too expensive. Yes, we hardly knew ye. Oh, God damn it! A Zoltan shield ship and a civilian sector and a fucking pulsar. Oh, I hate you, game. I have cloaking hacking, at least. This is a fucking stupid fight right here. Doge? No, you need to be a good doge. You need to stop being a bad doge. Back the drones. Hopefully it'll buy me some time. My cloaking is down, my piling is down. That is fucking terrible. Okay, drones are... Partly down. Oh, fuck you, FDL. Come on, fuck fix you. the piloting, please. Okay, I have a shield. Holy shit, give me the reward. Oh, fuck you, FDL. Jesus Christ, look at that bullshit of a fight that almost just one-shot me, man. Fuck you, FTL. What a bullshit fight. Fucking pulsars are the worst. Um, hazard in the game right there, chat. Fucking no counterplay to them. Protected from our... Hacking because of Zoltan Shield. Oh my god, I guess I'm lucky he didn't... Pulsar my... Weapons. But saying there was anything lucky about this shitty fight is... Pretty stupid, I would say. Value of long range scanners right there. Yeah, maybe so, honestly. Fuck Sector 4 energy bombers. Just F pulsars in general, man. They're so bullshit. They are so unfair and bullshit. 
like most of things in FTL, I guess. All right, I have to go to the store now just to spend scrap on repairs, I think, though. You think the Pulsar would have been fine if they had not been damn Zoltan? Uh, I don't know. Pulsars are just fucking stupid in any sense. Terrible fight, well played, thank you. We didn't die, so I'll, I'll take not dying. I really wanted to get hacked too, but I think... I think I can't do it now. I think I have to just spend all my shit on repairs now. I could do that much repair and get hacked too, but with cloaking... I think I just repair. You didn't say it was fine, just relatively, possibly, maybe, sort of okay. <laughs> sure, I won't put words on your mouth. In your mouth. On your mouth. Words on your mouth. All right, I just I'm spending all on repairs. I hate to do it, but I think it's better to do that and be a little bit behind on hacking. One thing that can help, especially against drones, is dropping shields for the pulse. They stay down much less time, though that's extra micro, no pause. Well, and I tried to do it right there at the end, my Copley, and yeah, I'm, I'm still unsure of how good that is. Fucking hell, he's running away with cloaking. God damn this fucking game right now. Bringing your shields down is good. Is Do you have a video about that? I would like to see a video about that to be convinced. I would like to see some numbers and testing on that. You almost always do the deep power shields and pulsar unless their offense is already disabled. Okay. I believe you that is better, but I'd like to see I'd like to see numbers and testing on, on understanding why and how much it's better. Uh, Mike has a video on ion dodging tactics. It's a certified hood classic. You do have video. Thank you. I would like to check that out later. More stuff to do off stream. Yeah, but I definitely. Oh crap. Uh, do I take Halberd Beam Shot? I was doing this. Okay. Should be good. This Mike dude sounds pretty cool. He knows a lot about FTL. A lot of great YouTube videos. I also, one thing I'll say about it is it's really hard to do when you have a Zoltan in your shields because you have to sh hit Shift A three times to get to no shields, as opposed to two times. Like, Zoltan and shields actually makes that strategy even worse on hard mode no pause, because there's more clicks. Uh, there are times where it could be wrong, but if you had to choose always or never, you would choose always to do it. Okay, good to know. That's something I can consider increasing our uh, Pulsar um, chances, maybe. Grand dude sounds a bit upset. Maybe that last fight was a bit bullshit. Yes, it was. Okay. Damn it. This is the third free border thing here. Okay, good. Right, we should be fine now. Another strong reason to vent all Zoltans, even before humans. <laughs> because they make more micro and hard mono pause. There you go. Mashing buttons has always been a weak point of yours. Being over 40 doesn't help. Yeah, and having arthritic hands is another thing against me doing that well. Alright, I can get hack 2 now, though. We have hack 2 and cloaking. So we're in good shape. If I don't die to pulsars and half power bullshit and running away uh, auto assaults and all that kind of stuff. Now, speaking of auto assaults, 
Freaking non-stop auto assaults. Um, I maybe should have hit drone control instead, but no, this is this is safe fight now. You just hate Zelda crew members in general. Probably your least favorite. Um, playing stealthy, you're shiz knitting your pants. Okay, cool. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. Okay. Okay, good. No more doges. Fight is now safe. Is there any training I need? Because we have a safe fight. I could cross train somebody if I wanted to. I could actually cross. Well, actually, is it safe? Did I did I breach the weapons? I didn't. It's not safe yet. No, I'd have to breach weapons before this would be safe. I would potentially cross train my mantis or ng on weapons if I could make this a safe fight. No. Okay. Oh well. Okay. Right, I kind of need power for days right now. Power for days. We got our systems done. We have not terrible weapons. I would call them mediocre, but not terrible. Maybe above average if I'm being generous. Do I want a distress beacon with NG blue option? Artillery does count as a beam for carefully cut the ship out. I have an ion for blue option. Yeah, I think all the ions overlap with NGs though, so. We can't do giant alien spiders. This is the NG. Oh, wow, we have all the choices. I think NG and ion are the same. Whoo, and that's 48 scrap, baby. All right, am I saving for a store for any reason? Or am I going third hack, second cloak, power? I think this is the time when Sleeping Dragon usually say second cloak, power is what you start to work towards. Thank you for the five bits, BJA. NG high, ion is low. I thought they were both high. Check the check the wiki. I, I could be wrong. Both NG and ion are high. That's what I thought. Cloaking scrap depends on the system level. That's right. That's what I thought. I think cloak is low for level one, medium for level two, high for level three. I'm pretty sure we've looked that up in the past. I'm going to do this. The level two hack, the level two cloak strats to say, stay safe. How's the run going? We're alive, Magic Jack. If we're alive, it's good. You know, if we weren't in a solar flare, I'd hack his weapons. I'm gonna hack shields. And maybe this is the wrong play, but... Wow, that was six fucking dodges. Are you fucking kidding me, video game? Six fucking dodges. How badly am I punished now? Jesus. Six fucking dodges, chat. Fuck you, FTL, by the way. And I guess that's why you always hack weapons, even when... Trying to end this fight as quickly as possible. Six fucking dodges, my god. And a fucking value point in shields. Give me a fucking break, video game. What are these fucking dodges on this ship, man? What the actual fuck? How is he not taking any goddamn fucking damage? Jesus Christ, this fucking fight. Do I get a crew kill here? No. Holy shit. I would love somebody to go see how much percentage of my shots he dodged that fight. Because it felt like 
over 70 or 80 percent or some shit. Oh my god. Uh, one tra well trained doge. Yeah, no kidding. Wish I had that doge. Uh, I don't want to spend scrap on fuel right now. I guess I should have just hacked their weapons, man. But if I had hacked their weapons, the fight would have gone even longer, right? I don't even know, because the shield hack felt like it did nothing when they dodged everything. Dodge percent equals yes. This enemy can have up to engines 4 and sector 4. We're in sector 5. So, we're not in sector 4. I might have, might have said sector 4 earlier, because I'm really bad about misremembering what sector I'm in or overestimating how powerful ships are. Uh, well, it's forced rock. Which we take that over forced lanius. I don't have rock live mine protection, do I? Sold my Lido, which could be rock live mine protection. I need level 5 engines, I think. Hold on a second. Let me, let me check. FTL rock live mine. Missile, beam drone, level 5 engines. I don't know if I should play around that or not. I can't do it yet anyway. We have our Zoltan as a sacrifice. Oh my god, that would put me even further behind in power if he dies to rock live mine. So roughly one chance in 16 to lose one crew from that, okay. I'm probably not going to do any upgrades towards it. I, I feel like I should save for store right now anyway. We have two guaranteed stores this sector. Oh crap, this sector layout. Oh jeez. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. So if I get here in 5, I can get all my jumps. I just can't get any of these. That one I could get if I dive, okay. Here's your public service announcement, chat. Check your jumps at the beginning of a sector. Check them. Here in five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I won't lose any. Don't need shields with cloak hack. I mean, but what if they're all solar flares or all asteroid fields? I can't cloak hack double missiles in all the fucking asteroids, man, can I? Maybe I can. Level 3 cloak, Jesus Christ. Okay. Does cloak hack cycle work on a Hermes? I feel like this is like one of the few missiles that cloak hack cycle doesn't work on. Although, if his cloak delays his missile, this might work. Okay, okay, it does. Beautiful. Wow, big surprise. He dodged just enough for me to do zero fucking damage. Okay, good. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, man. Oh, jeez. It does if it's one Hermes on its own, yes. Okay. I'm go all in on his cloaking. I want to get another volley in here, although I might not be able to. Just repairs it instantly. Come on, let me get through. Beautiful. Whew, okay, okay. Believe in the power of cloak hack cycle, I guess. Believe in it. It can't perfectly cloak hack here because the missiles have different charge times, but if it's just a Hermes, it can. Okay. How does he dodge everything with such finesse and cunning? I don't know. Uh, I think that was a breach missile. It felt like a Hermes. Maybe it was a breach. Do rocks... Rocks can have a Hermes. I think it's only slugs that are guaranteed that it's... Uh... Artemis or 
breach, I think. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm here in four now. Um, uh, and I can't do any upgrades because we're in an asteroid field. Two shields is fine, even in asteroids. <laughs> God damn it. Remember that thing I said about what if we're in all fucking asteroid fields and solar flares? When I hear that thing I said, God damn it, FTL. Could I not fucking live in solar flares and asteroid fields for the love of God? Could I please not live here? Alright, again, do I take the solar flare? Or do I just jump? And what if I get another asteroid field with bonus fucking borders? I have to take it, right? <sighs> Jesus. I think it's best to take it. If I if I saw a store, I'd go to the store. And not deal with these damn borders, but I don't see a store. Okay, that's good, that's good, we can vent that. Okay, okay, we're fine, we're fine. I don't know that all my dudes are gonna be healed before we leave though, but at least we have OMD happening before we leave. Okay, we're good, we're good. Can I have a not solar flare or asteroid field, please? Please? I think I got my jump slightly wrong. Now I can't take everything around the exit. Okay. Well, I think I can still get all my jumps, even if it's not all the jumps around the exit. I, You might be right. I might have screwed it up. Okay, boarding Mantis Bomber with double missiles. Cool! At least it's not an asteroid field or a solar flare. I hope this is not worse. Double Mantis Borders. Oh my god, all these fucking dodges, and now I don't have my max dodge for the cloak. Okay, they're gone. Okay, it's a stun bomb, thank god. I'm waiting for the missile here. I probably should have just hacked again. Oh, come on, game! Come on! Boarding micro. Oh, the fucking dodges. Okay. Uh. Okay. Oh, I fucking hate this micro. <laughs> Oh, my fucking Zoltan moved around and shit on my power. Fuck you, Zoltan. Moved out of weapons and into shields. Okay, okay, it's, it's only the bomb. Should be fine. Alright, it's fine, it's fine. Stress the hell out, but it's fine. Ooh. Might be a crew kill here if I get some fires and weapons, maybe. Goddamn dodges, man. <laughs> okay, I think we're safe here. Just chill out, it's fine. Okay, NG's dead. If I could get a fire in the weapons room, I think this is a crew kill. A Christ Almighty with these dodges and no fires. <laughs> Vent the bastard. <laughs> Vent the bastard Zoltan, yeah. 
Eh, just too many dodges for crew kill. Alright, I think the fight's safe though. Maybe there's still a small chance? If I get like a single fire here? Okay. Alright, screw it. I'm just gonna shoot their shields. These freaking dodges here. Artillery would have helped greatly. Yeah, it sure would have helped. I could turn it on now if I want. Why am I cloaking the stun bomb? I don't know. To flex on him, I guess. Alright, fight's over. Uh, you love the thousand yard stare you get when you break all shields, but the rest of the lasers miss. Okay. Thousand yard stare, huh? What gets you triggered the most with a gunship build? Usually your weapons guy can't hit anything. Yeah, feels that way. Although I'm sure that's that thing I can't remember. Alright, store. Yeah, so I won't be able to get that one, but at least we get one store here. I can repair and maybe see if they could have a, a flak. Something besides these two power, two shot weapons. Heavy laser 2 is good, but expensive. I wish this was a halberd beam, I'd take it in an instant. But do I take this, though? If I'm hacking weapons, this feels like more weapon power invested in the same number of shots. But it is a heavy laser, too, so if it hits, it's got more chance for fires. Oh, what do we think about Heavy Laser 2? I like it, but I'm not sure that I like it in this build. If I had a flak 1, I think I'd for sure do it. Scrap recover him, get it back, alright. I like how I ask chat for suggestions and all I get is memes. Just upgrade into the Ion now, that might actually be better. Just do this instead. You know what, that probably is better. Thank you for that real suggestion, I watch FTL. You love Heavy 2, but it seems a bit expensive. Yeah. Alright, let's 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 just do this, I think. We could still see a second store, honestly. Um, it could be here, here, or here. Actually, I could get this one, too. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I could actually still get second store here. Your mind slipped by the fire beam. <laughs> Is there a fire beam? No, no fire beam this time. I actually can see all jumps, so you know what? Let's not do the ion upgrade yet. As much as I hate fights like that with only six projectiles. Let's give our chance at a flak or something else. Heavy Later 2 feels slow. Only like 13 seconds? It's not that slow. Is it? I don't think so. One thing I don't have to worry about is running out of drone parts, so that's nice. Pretty sure Heavy Laser 2 is not very slow. I think that's just not true, if I'm remembering. Because if it's 13 seconds, like I think I'm remembering, that's faster than my whole laser is. It's definitely faster than chain laser on the first volley. Yeah, heavy, whole laser, uh, heavy laser 2 is faster than two-thirds of our setup. Yeah, that sounds about right. Sounds about right. Alright, we're not crew killing this. HL2 underrated. Are we talking about heavy laser 2 or whole laser 2? I'm unsure which we're talking about, because people use that short... Shortening for both weapons. Tell me heavy too. Think it's underrated? I mean I rate it very highly. I think it's really good weapon. 
I just think it's too expensive to get online and we don't have the support to make it work right now. In all fairness, you said scrap the cover on before I asked for a suggestion. Oh, sorry. Well, I feel like me saying chat's memeing is, in all fairness, happening all the time. So, you know, don't take it as a personal attack. Because chat is always memeing. I hope you won't take it as a personal attack. Apparently anything I say is a personal attack, though. Because I'm sarcastic all the time. A personal attack to ask for no negativity in chat and stuff. So <laughs> everything I do is a personal attack. It is the internet, after all. Why am I attacking you? I, I love attacking people. That's just what I do. Have you seen my FTL gameplay? I love attacking people. Yelling at chat and attacking people in chat. Alright, I need to get used to being patient. For this, this strategy. Uh, you forgot the Kappa, yes. That's right, you did forget the Kappa. Did this guy boarded us once yet? I think he must have and we killed the guy and that's why he hasn't boarded us another time. I know it shouldn't bother me, but anything, anytime somebody says anything about me being negative is I'm like, I'm trying to be positive. But I guess I am not very good at being positive, or or it's because we're on the internet and everything is a personal attack. Okay, this might be a crew kill here, actually. Um, he didn't dodge literally every shot. Okay, it wasn't literally every shot, but this is a crew kill, I think. Okay, let's do our full volley pilot, and he's dead. Just uh, I believe it's usually overshadowed by Halberd. Beam in terms of three power weapons, yes. You like a well, like well placed AB2? That one wasn't a great idea, but was an, an idea. Nice double reward. Uh, you don't take it as a personal attack. That's good. As fat as Eagle is concerned, it's all. As fat as Eagle is concerned, it's all. Oh, as far! Okay. Good. I need a sarcasm recovery arm, that's right. I'm hacking a bit early because I'm not pulling enough charge out of the guns. Okay, okay. So I need to... Well, one of the times I hacked because I saw the heavy iron was just about to fire. But yeah, I still need to get better at that timing. Getting triggered when somebody calls you negative is a self-enforcing closed loop. Kappa. True. Probably true. Oh, okay. Well, there's our second store. Come on, flak, so I don't have to use these two-power, two-shot weapons so much anymore. Damn. As usual, our uh, good stores are at the beginning of the run when I can't buy anything, and our bad stores are everywhere else. I guess I could just get Hack 3 and Power here to be super safe. Or maybe get my fourth dodge so I can actually 100% dodge when cloaked. This is pre pretty much safe all the time, right? Cloak 2, Hack 2. All the power. Um, Clone Bay, let's think about it. Do I want to do Clone Bay with a two-person heal bay for phase three of the boss? Because I can't, like, stuff three, three dudes in a heal bay for the boss phase three. Artillery four. No. No thanks. Like when someone asks, what are you upset about? And that makes you upset when you're not already upset. Yes. Um... I could do giant alien spiders in some events with clone bay. Do I like do I like clone bay better for phase 3 of the boss? Still word for live mine. That's true. It does give us live mine protection for these last two jumps. Is it green to end or purple? Uh I think it's green. I think it is green. I think I will 
I think I will do this. You think it's not worth the scrap for the clone bay? Let's think about it. The reason I'd want it would be for phase 3 of the boss when I don't have mind control counter. How is my crew killing? Honestly, with Ion Stunner, two weapons that can start fires and a whole laser that can breach. If I get no other weapons, my crew killing is not terrible. So I, I, I feel like I kind of agree that Clone Bay is too expensive. I'd, I'd want Clone Bay... Also for potential blue options and, you know, giant alien spiders and things we can do. But I don't know if it's enough to justify spending the scrap. Why do you have to look at so miserable all the time? Oh, I'm sorry. That's just my RBF. My resting, very sad face. All right, I'm going to not do it. I'm not going to do the upgrade. I kind of want to do the weapon upgrade, to be honest. Okay. Well, the ion did go off, but that should be fine. So I should wait for the next hacking for longer, I think. So cloak the missile. Let's wait for his next cloak here for our next folly. My miserable face. Yeah, I'm so miserable. <laughs> God fucking damn it, I, I don't need to hack what here. What the actual fuck? This fight's pretty safe, honestly, so uh, I think I might actually go for shields and then go for cloaking on the next volley. Okay, wow. Whole laser's so slow I can't get a second shot, or maybe it's my cloaking timing that delays it. Okay, nice. Breached. Okay, nice. Now we're just completely safe. Alternative answer. Let me introduce you to this concept called depression and why you're lucky not to have it. It's true. I'm very glad I don't have to deal with that. Much love to all my people who deal with depression. And the reason... In my defense, the reason, if anybody thinks I take a political stance on something, my political stance is don't be negative. Whether that's whatever your beliefs are, if they're stated positive and they're not going to start an argument, it's whatever. But if they're stated in a negative way, I do not want them in the chat because that will just make people mad and I don't want negativity of that kind. Ran for president, that's right. The only negativity we have is venting humans and everybody gets a cookie. Um, I could do both of these. Let's do the weapon upgrade first. Bill and Ted style. Be excellent to each other. That's right. Bill and Ted style is what we want. Bill and Ted style is what we want in this chat. All positivity. Water is wet. That is an opinion that is allowed. Oh, unless that starts that stupid debate about water being wet. What, what, yeah, let's not talk about that stupid thing. <laughs> Except if we have these stupid internet philosophy debates. I don't want any of those. Why? He dodged every fucking shot. Oh, I hate this fucking game. I did that too early. Oh, come on with the fucking dodges this, this run today. Um, I don't have cloaking or hack hacking right now because I timed it wrong. Fuck this I have fucking, no fucking game. Okay, screwed it up. Screwed it up. Okay, okay. All right, we're fine. Don't die, please. Go heal. Okay, his weapons are burning. All right. I took damage because I did it all wrong, but whatever. That's breached. Man, there maybe there's a crew kill here. Um 
Maybe? Okay. Um, you don't peel this. I think this might be a crew kill. I think we might get a random crew kill here, which be which would be awesome. Um, I prefer relentless criticism and all that exists. That's kind of tiring in a video game chat room. <laughs> it's true. It is tiring. Well, I'm sure there's plenty of other video game chat rooms you can go to for that as well, so. <laughs> I know, I'm sure that exists all over the place on Twitch. So feel free to find other chat rooms for that. Uh, he is repairing his O2. I need him to stop that. If I do this, will that pull him from repairing O2? I don't think so. I think I might not get it now. Damn. It was close, but his his cloaking his cloaking uh, kind of delayed some of our shots. Oh well. Those debates are your favorite. Uh, it's like the joke of "I need positive reinforcement." All right, you're great at sucking at video games. <laughs> Once O2 is below a certain point, they won't pull. Yeah, I know, and it was. I knew we were getting close there, and I would have needed to shoot O2 again, but he cloaked as my volley was ready, so there, I just I, I just missed it somehow. Yeah, I guess there's probably something that could be considered toxic positivity, which is positivity that's so forced and overdone, like the uh, everybody gets a participation trophy or something that might not be super valuable, but... Hey, Rebel Stronghold! Probably want third shield for this. But I'd rather err on the side of too much positivity than too much negativity, because I got the negativity covered with yelling at video games. Look around. And Nebula does get us an extra jump, so let's just go ahead and grab that. So what we're afraid of is... Double Offensive Drone Asteroid Field... Auto Assault. Toxic positivity is usually the thing that happens in workplaces. Oh, yeah. yeah. I could see that. I could see that. Bad arguments with managers just insist that emotions are literally a thing you can just choose. Hmm. There's, there's probably... Like, like, choose happiness. That's, that's like one of those things where I guess if you... I don't know. That sounds hard to me. Sometimes I can try to... You know, what? what is it we talk about here? Having a growth mindset, trying to find the positive even when negative things are happening, but sometimes that can be very difficult, that's for sure. All right, outpost. Potential double reward here, or guaranteed double reward, whichever it is. Uh, let's do this, 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 not you. Oh, damn it. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, the dodges. Okay, missile's down, that's great. Okay, hit my engines, that's fine. There might be a crew kill here if we get some fires. No fires yet. Oh, Jesus, if there was a fire, that actually just killed him right there. Okay, there's our fires. And now if we get Clone Bay, maybe we can get the crew kill. Check out Clone Gay, Clone Bay, maybe. Clone Gay. Okay, Clone Bay is down. Quadruple fire. I will say, it's hard to get these crew kills with just, like, fires and stuff when, when you don't have mind control. Nice double reward, man. Nice double reward. Uh, okay. If they didn't have the power to fire you, you, you want to shout that's effing BS and then demand they be happy about you shouting at them. Yeah, right. 
Uh, Jake Paul decided to get his ass whipped by Mike Tyson. I look forward to the memes of him lying out cold on the mat. Okay. It's hard to be positive. You strive to be better about it as well in your day-to-day. -day. Always enjoy making others laugh and smile and then frown. Yeah. I think where toxic positivity comes in is where more people are desperately unhappy and somebody that says stuff like, turn that frown upside down, Mr. Sad Face. Lol. Somebody's got a case of the Montes. So, you know, like... I think of I think of office space when I think of toxic positivity. Just need a firebomb, yeah. Watching no pause, you always see the moment where your panic would end the run for you. Wow, these stores, man, these stores are just not really doing much for us. This might be the only store we get this sector. Um Let's get hack three. And I don't really want to spend four scrap on repairs. Yeah, I'm going to need you to come in on Saturday. Stealth weapons, cloak three. Are my weapons fast enough for that? Actually, maybe so. I hardly ever do it, but this feels like a run where I have weapons that are, once chain laser starts fully charging, might actually be fast enough to get some value out of stealth weapons. Means I gotta invest in Cloak 3, but... We have a lot of power and value points I'd like to get, but if I'm not investing any more in weapons... I think that might be the strat. Figured out recently, you've been underrating stealth weapons for a while in your runs, yeah. The weapons aren't our deal, but they're fast enough, you think? I mean, I've done a lot of fights where I've been delaying my weapon shot while I wait for Cloaking to wear off before I hack, so... Let's do something different. Let's do it. Let's get stealth weapons. And now we want probably either cloak three or save for a weapon. I would like look around, which would be, I think, a four shield fight with look around in sector seven, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I probably uh, undervalue stealth weapons as well. But what I will say is a lot of times if you're running, you know, flak twos or halberd beams or something, you're not going to get a lot of value out of it, right? Heart rigor. It's not that I'm lazy. I just don't care. That's your favorite office space quote? It's a problem of motivation, Bob. Bob, if I work my ass off to make in a trode five extra cents, I don't see a dime of that. So many good quotes in that movie. All right, he's got four shields. I'm going to hack. I'm going to hack their shields here. Or hack their piloting. Hack their piloting. Or engines, maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six. With one of them being down from the ion stunner, so I'll have four shots guaranteed through in their weapons if I hack engines. I'm gonna hack the engines, I think. Oh god, what does he hack? He doesn't hack, he boards. Okay. How did, okay, I was gonna say, how did the ion miss? It didn't miss, thankfully. Yeah, I will randomly think about quotes from Office Space sometimes just because there's so many good quotes there. From a vote of motivation, Bob. Bob. Uh, he's in my ship again. Got an NG repairing too. Got to really focus here. Not get any of my crew killed. Oh, he's running away. Okay. Uh, my next volley, I can hack. This flax up. Okay. Uh, I need to hack his engine. Shoot piloting. God damn it, I hate it when they run away when I have... I... I uh, what are these goddamn ships called? Um, I can't think right now. I'm trying to... I'm trying to... I'm so frustrated, I can't even vent right now. Fucking disruptors, thank you. I fucking hate disruptors and riggers. And when they fucking run away, it's bullshit. Um... I think I actually hack engines and shoot engines, because if I hit three, his engines are down and they're half repair speed, right? 
I think I hack engines and shoot engines with my next volley. I need my O2 to not go offline right now. Somehow my ion fucking went offline. What the fuck, game? It should hit, right? Fuck, I didn't get it. Uh, oh, I don't know why my fucking ion stunner went offline. I don't even fucking know why that happened. Where did my fucking power go? I have no goddamn idea, you shitty game. My ion stunner. I think I hit shift 4 when I meant to turn 4 off auto fire. Fucking hell. If my ion hadn't gone offline, I'd probably stop that because I get all my shots through. Fucking running away bullshit, cheating ass game. God damn it, I hate. I hate running away bullshit disruptors. Oh, we give you shit for rewards. We're a ridiculously hard fight. And uh, by the way, we're going to run away when you do five damage to us. While dealing with boarding drone, multiple breaches, and other bullshit. Enjoy your life. Yeah, we're probably fine, but uh, losing scrap sucks. Especially losing scrap in a Sector 7 fight when that was probably a good 40 to 50 scrap. Uh, on your previous job, you were Milton from Office Space. One of those movies funny in different ways, depending on your age. Rage Cage. Okay. He had four rooms. He has four crew. Only engines three. That works. Yeah, I failed it. Oh, was there a reason you targeted engines over piloting? Yes. Because if I hit engines while they're hacked, he repairs at half speed. So if I ha hit three shots in engines with one human in there, he was not repairing his engines and he never gets out. Piloting, it doesn't repair at half speed because I hadn't hacked the piloting. And that was why I chose engines. But my fucking ion stunner went offline, so I he had one more shield than he was fucking supposed to have. So I, I screwed it up. So I goddamn screwed it up, and it's frustrating as hell. If I hit the engines and hit it three times, which I should have with him hacked, fucking forward scouts, uh, I think he was less likely to run there. That was the reason. Um, God damn it, running away. Okay, what if I what if I hack piloting here and shoot everything at piloting? I should be able to guarantee you can't get out. Only max level three piloting. Okay, now his piloting is. Half power. I, I prefer to not hack piloting because it when you hack it, it forces them to stay in there and they repair it all the time. If you hack engines, you're pulling them from piloting when you get the piloting offline. That's that's my thoughts on hacking piloting. Even if it does slow down the repairs, I don't I don't like keeping them fucking hell! Give me some fucking dodges. Uh, I don't like keeping them in the piloting room. I swear I... Oh, I didn't hack the weapons. See, I can never stop them from repairing piloting if I hack the pilot. They're always repairing it. And that's not my favorite way to deal with running away enemies. Yeah, yeah, you apparently have more stuff memorized than me. I don't have memorized that pirate disruptors in Sector 7 will always have a max of piloting to... I can't keep track of all that stuff. I don't know how you all remember that stuff. My brain doesn't work that way, so I can't I can't remember that. Uh, I'd still I'd still sell one of these for a flak, I guess. Although if I do this, I probably never find under construction flagship. But... You haven't no you don't have it memorized, but it's on his website? Yeah, yeah. There's Halberd Beam. All right, what what weapon am I losing for this? Probably whole laser. For crew killing phase one, I want dual laser, chain laser, ion stunner, and then after that, we're whole lasering. I mean, we're halberd beaming. I'm gonna keep chain because of the small fire chance. I prefer fire chance over whole chance, even though it's slower on the first volley. Yes, maybe I need to check Mike's website more often. Many things I should do. Uh, five. Uh, do I do one with 
repair, I guess I will. Uh, okay, well, at least it's a free stuff. I'll be honest, like, having another website to check for every little thing, especially when I can't pause in the middle of the fight to go, okay, I'm going to pause to go check Mike, Mike's website. I, I'm just never going to remember some things. It's just never going to happen for me. I already check events more than I probably should. I've had people uh, <laughs> on YouTube say... I don't think that you using Cheat Engine invalidates your uh, streak, but I do think you using the wiki invalidates your streak or something like that. I'm like, okay. It's interesting that there are so many different ideas of what is allowable and what is not allowable to different people. It's kind of funny to me. Good job, okay. Neo. Good dodges. Wiki is more legit than Cheat Engine. See? And you think it's that side. I mean... Like, everybody has their own different metric of what is... allowable help and what is not allowable help for FTL. Um, this guarantees we get a delay, right? Yes. Okay, that is absolutely worth... It also shows that... This is our only chance for under construction flagship, and if it's not, I think we just don't get it here, actually. You think runs without fire beam are invalid, right? Uh, real hard no pause players have photographic memory, I know, right? Um, people who don't do FTL win streaks having strong opinions about what's permissible in FTL win streaks. That's the internet for you. Seems to you most of the ideas of this invalidates your streak come from people who don't have any streaks worth speaking of. Probably, that is probably true. I think we give up on look around because... Did that give, that give us one delay, right? I think I get very many dives if I go for this. And I don't get the under construction flagship. Went back to the VOD and made the Zeltan tech short. Thank you for that, Zach Dog. Thank you. I appreciate you putting the work in there. Okay. Uh, Asteroid Field. What do I want to do? I want a weapon upgrade, and we want Cloak 3 because... Yeah, let's go ahead and get the Cloak 3 because we got the stealth... Whatchamacallit? Stealth weapons. Actually, we probably Cloak first if they have cloaking. Something like this. But yes, people, people commenting on what is valid and isn't valid who have never even tried to streak is... I, what's funny, what is funny about that, that I've heard very little about what people find valid or invalid from people who have actually done streaking. Because, like... I mean, there's so few people who have successfully done the streaks that it's probably not surprising that the people who have the opinions are in such the minority. In such the minority, I'm talking very well today. But that is the internet for you. The people with the loudest voices are the people with the least experience. Or the least... Um... Right to have those voices? I don't know. If you had a streak of three, you'd retire and feel great about it. Screw look around, you can get crap loads of fights anyway. Yeah, yeah. People in general have strong opinions about things they know nothing about. That sounds like humans who should be vented. Were we talking about the delay from Baby Flagship? Uh, I was talking about the delay we just got from hacking the station that gave us one. The flagship, I, Baby Flagship, is two delays. I'm... I think I remember that correctly. And that is a Pulsar. Am I okay with going a Pulsar with three cloaking and level three hacking? I probably am fine with that. You've never streaked, but personally you say go ham. If it's not giving you an unfair advantage by using spending, using something outside the game, go ham. Using something outside the game, okay. Uh, this is the one where if I did this, Clone Bay protects us, I think, but we don't have Clone Bay, so. All right, nice.
Although, honestly, having another Mantis that can get mind controlled is a mixed bag when we don't have mind control counter. Because if we have a Mantis getting mind controlled, that's kind of bad for us. You don't see the difference between checking the wiki and asking chat? Yeah, me neither. I actually, a lot of times when I have people on YouTube who are asking, Rand, I am a ha having a hard time X. Like, my answer is usually either pause more or check the wiki more. And since we can't pause in hard mode, no pause. Uh, using the wiki is something we do around a, a lot around here. It feels like a really long time since I fought the flagship in Rebel Stronghold. Well, Rebel Stronghold is just kind of rare to find in general, so... Reject. And if we see a human, it's real. Okay. We did not. We did not see a human. Let's get you out of doors. You should pull the pilot down. Yes. Okay, the delay made my weapons not fire. Or the, uh... Whatever it's called, the um, uh, him trying to do that thing that he tried to do, surrender thing. Yeah, there we go. Does the world record with high score have to use the extra sector provided by the ancestry quest? I don't know. Uh, I don't know the world record holder on high score. I think it might be retreat, retreat, or somebody else. But I don't know a lot of the record holding. I don't know if Crow Ravel's spreadsheet that records streaks also records world records for um, for uh, scrap runs and or not. Maybe it does. Uh, the record for high scores are from grinding dives usually. Sorry, Rand, your streaks aren't valid because you didn't play each ship as intended. Also, I didn't crew kill that one time, so all of my streaks are invalidated. All right, do I want to try <laughs> that right as the uh, pulsar is going to happen? That is a lot of <laughs> that is a lot of clicks. I guess I could take my Zoltan out of shields. Just now, it's only three clicks instead of five clicks. Uh, I'll have you hang out in cloaking, I guess. There's pro I probably don't even need to do this level three cloaking, level three hacking, but you know. Let's, give, let's get some practice on Pulsar Shield depowering. Retreat Retreat has the world record with 9667 on Crystal B with the home worlds, if you recall. Nice, nice. To me, that shows that Retreat Retreat is very patient. Okay, well, uh, that's defensive drone, so I'm actually going to hack his shields rather than hacking any weapons or anything. I didn't, I didn't even try. I, I swear, doing, doing depowering on no pause, while I have to aim goddamn beam weapons and time my weapons, hack, hack, sh cloak. I'm probably never gonna actually use that strat. At least not. Oh fucking hell! I should have cloaked. They've hit the fucking pulsar. Hit my weapons twice and hit his weapons zero fucking times. I think. Oh, well, he's got the protection from it, goddammit. Come on, kill him, please, thank you. God, I hate fucking pulsars. I fucking hate these goddamn things. Need to practice on those old sports game button mashing Sega stuff, sure. Logically, the world record score is always going to involve finding the secret, ideally right at the very end of the Rock Homeworlds. I mean, I feel like... Just dive infinitely and you get this world record, right? Like, whoever's the most patient dies infinitely. Or, dives infinitely. Okay, so he's running. Alright, I'm gonna hack shields here again. Okay. Okay. Okay, you 
we're stunned in there. Okay, let's not die. Okay. We got a map at the end of the sector. Great. A map when you already have a map when we're at the end of the sector. How useful. What a great reward. Uh, something to consider in Pulsar, one power in Artie, just in case. Uh, yeah, maybe I should have done that. Yeah, that's another thing to micro, but yeah, if I can remember to do that. Your all-time high score was 79.93 on Crystal B, and you're about 99% sure you didn't find the secret sector in that run. You just got ridiculously double rewards repeatedly. Isn't there a score that's like 15,000 plus that was from 20 hours of dive grinding? I don't know. Oh, you're talking about no farming. Oh, we have a rule for world record score without farming. Okay, I guess there's different categories. Someone did go to over 100k with elite farming. That's just repetition. Yeah, but technically that's the highest score. So I would call that valid, although a different category than non-score farming high score, I guess. Although then what's the rule? Can you never dive? That's, that's kind of what we ran into with the... Um, with the tournament was like, were, was Retreat Retreat's run with never ever diving? Or could he dive once? Well, I'm curious. Potentially no one in the community considers it valid? I don't know. I I guess I'm not in the community then because I feel like that's valid but a different category. Because I mean, it's, 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 it's using the rules of the game to to do something. Uh, the rule is you can't dive purely for score purposes. The rule you'd run is that you can dive, but you always need to take the fastest route possible back to the exit. According to the Badger's Guide, you can dive as long as you're trying to get a non-overtaken beacon. We need more rules. Yeah, we do. All right. So I guess I guess for whatever that category is, diving is only allowed if you are trying to get to the exit beacon or something. But what if you purposefully get as many jumps as possible and then say, okay, now I'm go I'm diving to get back to the exit beacon? I mean, I feel like... I guess that would be valid because you're just getting all the jumps and then you're going directly to the exit beacon? That's actually allowed? Okay, interesting. Um, okay, how am I doing this? I'm gonna just keep hacking shields. Make sure these guys leave. Okay, good. Okay. Um You'd have to get one of those crazy isolated tree maps to maximize that. Um, I don't know. There, I feel like there's lots of sector layouts where, like, say the exit beacon's over here. Well, I mean, okay, let's say it's over here, but there's a lot of bad connections, and the way to get the most scrap is to actually go back down around, do all this, get all these jumps, and then go back to dive to get there. There's probably a lot of layouts that that's the best way to get the most scrap. Although you'd have to have a ship that's strong, strong enough to do that. So I guess that's why those streaks are valid. Because you have to have a really strong ship and play well to succeed with a run like that. Because you'd basically have to be strong enough, skilled enough, and have a good enough build that you can dive indefinitely and be safe. Which, that's a skill in itself, I would say. All right, let's get um, these two value points. And then I feel like we're gonna need power to use our, not artillery, but cloaking. Okay. Um, what, are, what, what, is my, what is my priority here to not lose to the boss? We wanna crew kill phase one as much as possible. Um, I would like to upgrade backup battery for the Cloak 3 and the Hack 3. 
Although I probably take my power out of engines and then back up battery into the engines. A door upgrade would probably be very good. I think a lot of score farming strats are also quite counterintuitive and reduce win rate. You you should usually choose options that give fleet delay every time because it results in more beacons explored. Interesting. All right, uh, doors, and then I think power. So Jacob J Keys, first thing you see is a stream streak title. Stream title, current streak of 16, let's go. That's all right. Streak is alive. I think just shield buffer and doors two are set. Ooh, outpost sector eight, very nice. This will get our shield value right here. Missile did not go offline. What the hell? Okay, good. I can auto fire my ion now that I have uh, stealth weapons. I need to remember to do that. Okay, good. Whoo! 63 plus 65. What is that? 128 scrap from a single jump, man. Holy shnikes. That is actually insane. Reason for having that rule is that otherwise you just get Crystal B with an extra two crew, fully upgrade cloaking, die back and forth forever in early sector, and be killing all four enemy crew before you, they can fire any weapons. No skill. The record goes to whoever has the most patience. I mean, isn't having the most patience a skill? <laughs> You're right. I wouldn't find that very skillful. But I feel like for a category, it could be considered a valid category for, you know, world record. Rand's math face is funny. He asked me going, uh, work brain, work. Uh. It's also my, I am Professor Xavier trying to mind control you face. Man, we can get a bunch of upgrades. We could potentially get power for artillery to use for phase two and three. Although maybe, uh, fourth shield seems really not needed for level three cloaking. So I probably don't get fourth shield. Uh, you had three jumps like that yesterday in your double scrap recovery arm run. You had 500 scrap in Sector 8. Okay, this is, uh... This is not not enough time for a second, I thought it was. Okay. thought I saw ships in the background for a second there. But I see no ships in the background. But it's not an interesting category. It's just a miserable with no redeeming features. <laughs> well, I don't disagree. Uh, but I feel like a lot of people who do speed runs do crazy, ridiculous, miserable things just to say they're the best of the world at it. So, you know, if somebody wants to have that category, why make it invalid? Somebody wants to be the person who's been doing the same run for a year, diving back and forth infinitely in Sector 1. You know, more power to that person. I uh, highly recommend hard mode with two free scrap recovery arms. It's like playing on easy mode with smart targeting, huh? Hard mode with two free scrap recovery arms. Yeah, lots of free stuff is the best way to play this game. I'll agree. All right, so what, what do I do? I could get those last two value points. I could invest in artillery. I just don't care about investing artillery, so... I have the I have the mind control protection in piloting, so I think I will just do those last two value points and power. You suppose it's valid in that sense? You're just saying the general attitude in the community is screw that. Okay, I can understand that. All right, so we do this to crew kill phase one. We need to not halberd beam very much. My plan is to only halberd the missiles to keep it down while I try to ion stun dual laser chain laser into their shields to try to get some crew kills. Worst hacks are weapon and hacking hack I think. Best hack is artillery hack. Any hack here or here cuts my ship in half which is pretty annoying. There's a Halo speedrunner you watch who streams almost daily and has accumulated close to 30,000 runs in total. Oh that's crazy. Um, we 
All right, so our goal is to crew kill with this not very great crew killing build. So let's see what we can do here. And what do I cloak with cloak three? I guess it's still the missile, but cloak three should let ions that hit regenerate our shields, hopefully. I like watching Subnautica speedruns. Oh, that sounds fun. I feel like somebody gave me a link. Maybe it was you factoid for those at one point, and I haven't really gotten into watching them, though. Is there ever a reason to depower hacking if they hack my hack? Or hack my cloaking? Does depowering do anything? It gives me the power to use... I'm unsure if depowering is useful or not, but I'm going to do it. Okay, he hacked my shields. That is not ideal, but with level 3 cloaking, I think I'm going to allow that. Oh, dodge just sucks. Doge? You. No, you need to be a good doge. You need to stop being a bad doge. Okay. This. No fires to start. Not a great start, but level 3 cloak? Uh, I might need to run here. Uh. Oh man, this is not looking good for any kind of crew killing, man. Cloak this. Doge? Now you need to be a good doge. You need to stop being a bad doge. This is not looking great. Ah, jeez. Um, I'm gonna turn on my artillery. Can I get some crew kills here? Can I get some fires? Can I get fucking anything? No, no, I can't get jack shit. No cloaking for this. Fucking double. Okay, only single fire. This is a shitty phase one, that's for sure. Get his missiles offline. Oh, oh come, come on, on man. game! Come on! A long fight. We haven't taken that much damage, but not looking good for any kind of crew killing, man. Meh. Uh, I guess if I killed him now, maybe I'd get a... Okay, there's a crew kill. Okay. Alright, alright. We got like one, maybe two. I don't know if there's anybody in side room. This build sucks for crew killing, by the way. Subnautica speedruns are insane. Every single thing they do is glitch exploit. It's impossible to follow. Interesting. You bought today chocolate chip cookie filled cookies, so don't you dare lose this. You need them. Okay. That was two dudes overlapping at that door, you hope. Okay. Well, I hope... I hope we got two crew kills. We got at least one. If we're lucky, we got two. Did not look like a great phase, though. And I can't really try to crew kill phase two. Because every time we try to... Well, many times we try to do that, and we just, we just get punished for that. Um, because we take too long on the fight. Yeah, we're gonna have to do abduction strats. We don't have the mind control counter. Um, level three doors for phase three of the boss. Level three artillery. What 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 upgrade do we think, chat? Remember those two fire beams we saw? Yes, yes, the ones that we saw before we had any scrap to do any upgrades. I do remember those. I do. It's probably the door upgrade, right? Level 3 artillery can be fine. You kind of like the artillery. I actually kind of end leave. I like doors and I like artillery. I don't like artillery, but artillery is an upgrade just to help the run the fight end quicker might be the play. I basically have to take power out of engines to do that. 
But we do have level 3 cloak. Level 3 cloak, level 3 artillery sounds not terrible. Pilot for more dodge. Piloting does not actually increase your dodge at all. Could be engines for dodge. Oh, we need power for that. I'd like power, but I just... I think I'm going to do this, because what we do is this. And we have to do a lot of power micromanagement, which I hate, but I think this is the way to do it. While we're cloaked, we take the power out of engines. Your name is RT Lori, and I love you too. Okay. I think it was a follow, Ebeen. I think I do this, and I deal with the boarding drone with these two guys. And we just try to finish phase two as quick as possible, and then the same thing for phase three. I'm gonna replace artillery sound with Rand saying, I like artillery. <laughs> no, I didn't mean it. Don't clip it. Oh no, ruined. I'm still really scared about phase three boarding strats, though. I'm really f scared. I hope that level three artillery and my auto-fired weapons can maybe kill him while I deal with the freaking ridiculously annoying boarding we're going to have phase three to deal with with mind control. Okay, still got a lot of crew. Actually, I don't talk yet. Okay, I'm you should have that, zero God, God, that, sh God. that should last long enough. That should last long enough and be fine, I think. Especially with the auto. Oh, crew kills! Oh, that is a couple crew kills. Stun him in the fire. Stun him in the fire. I'm, I'm delaying this. Okay. That's and that's a side room bug kill. That was badass, man. Oh, the fire. That's what I was wanting phase one that we never had happen. That was so freaking good, man. Oh, those fires with the ion stunner. Look at look at ion stunner carrying us for the crew kills right there. The freaking ion stunner crew kill carry. Oh, I think we might only have like one or two borders to deal with now. Yeah, delay is fine when you finish any, any time. Oh, that was that was way better of a phase two than I could have ever have hoped for, honestly. Whew, okay. All right, so now, where are we moving our crew to deal with the mind control? And what can I do with 21 scrap? I feel like I can do nothing. Okay. So how are we dealing with this? We want the Mantis to be somewhere far away where if they get mind controlled, we can ignore them. So probably where they are, O2 and sensors. Um, maybe have these two guys in heal bay. These two guys in cloaking. And we hit enter. And whoever's mind controlled, we either vent them or figure it out. Two border plus mind control is still a lot. It's still a pain in the ass for sure. But the good thing is we can auto fire some weapons while we deal with the boarding, hopefully. Um I'm just gonna turn auto fire on. Hope that level three cloak and artillery can do some work while we deal with the boarding. And so the plan is we jump, then we hit enter, and wherever the boarding, wherever the mind control is, we move crew around to deal with it. Hit enter. Don't forget to hit enter. Help me remember, chat. Don't hit enter. And I guess whoever, if one of these guys don't get mind control, they can go either deal with the border or go man the system that gets unmanned. Hit enter. Thank you, chat. Hit enter. Hit enter. Okay. He's going to have two borders. Okay, that's uh, I'm okay with that. Although I want this to be online. Come on, man, these fucking dodges. Not sure if should have cloaked, but did it. I think we're okay, actually. Okay. 
Okay. That should be GG. That should be GG. <sighs> Everyone is so stressful now that we're this far into a streak. GG Cookie Time fed me down 17 in a row, my friends. Can, can confirm, did hit enter. Quite true. And because I always forget, I'm going to manage prediction now. Believers rejoice. 17 in a row. Fed be down. Good run. Uh, let's see. Runs here. Let me get. Let me get all all of the all the recording done. Holy crap! I see you did out all those runs. Now we have a hundred and something attempts on our spreadsheet from you adding that. Uh, Sleeping dragon. Thank you for doing that, by the way. Fed be win. Let's check that score. Fifty six seventy one. Pretty good score. Pretty good run. Only damage taken was phase one. Can confirm. RD3 upgrade was amazing. <laughs> All right. Let's check the, uh, the thing here. Yeah. Sector 2 rock was our worst. Honestly, that rebel stronghold still pretty good even without getting a uh, look around. Yeah, a lot better than last two Zoltan runs. Yeah, for sure. All right, we didn't let we didn't let the mind control plus boarding screw us over. Although it helped to have a mind control immune slug in piloting. I think of the hundred bits VN phase. What's the blue? Blue is free stuff, which means we got a really low amount of free stuff that run. We got what do we get for free? A chain burst laser and the scrap recovery arm that we sold. So that's that's the only stuff stuff we got for free today. That's like pathetically small, yeah. Alrighty, my friends. Well, it is time to take our first break. Hope y'all are having a good time. <sighs> I need to clear my head, restart, and uh, you know probably prepare for stealth B. That's what I'm always worried about is stealth B. So I'm gonna send to the restroom. Y'all feel free free to grab a drink, grab a snack. When we come back. We will random and do one more run. Y'all rock. See you in a bit, my friends. <laughs> 